Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we have the most celebrated artist, I feel, in the music industry today. She seems to be everywhere and be jolly and being interviewed in America and in England and elsewhere and live via all social media platforms in Australia and on other people's platforms. She's just so accommodating but she must have a twin sister because how one person can be all over the place in the manner that Kylie is doing. She is showing that when it comes to talent, when it comes to personality, beauty, her songs, the fact that she's legendary, it just goes to prove there's no age to energy when you've got such enthusiasm in the choice of work you chose to do. And she went from acting into singing and has never looked back. Now, today's song is called Time Bomb because simply I feel it's been an explosion again. Back to the moment when Time Bomb was the song that reinforced it in many critics and fans alike opinion as the pop princess that we all know her for. Now, yes, I could talk about her recent appearance with Madonna, but I think it's been exasperated and overdone at this stage. But I do want to send, as a huge Carly fan, a hearty congratulations on appearing with the Queen of Pop. And we know Kylie as the Princess of Pop, but they're both queens. And as Madonna said to her, you've been through your own health problems, you've survived. And the two legends standing side by side in the pop industry to an ecstatic crowd just proves to me and I hope to you and to all those disparaging comments towards pop music that pop music will never die. It is a time bomb and it's come back since Padam Padam to launch it as a Grammy winning justly deserved and even though it took 20 years later to do it better late than never and the longevity of her career to be around to collect that award fantastic also recently a brit award so 2024 is proving to be a lucrative time bomb for r kylie back to today's song because there's quite a bit to say about it it was recorded obviously by kylie and it was released at the time as a standalone single believe it or not by parlophone and distributed both in physical and digital formats. It was released as part of Kylie Minogue's anniversary for her 25th year in the music industry. Hence the album It's Come From Everybody, which I'll talk about in a minute. The track was written by Karen Poole, Matt Schwartz and Paul Harris, whilst production was handled by the latter two collaborators. A different song with the same title was written for Minogue by American singer Michael Jackson, but was never released. Wow. In 2012, it was included as part of the K25 Time Capsule album singles box set. However, the song received its first widespread album debut in 2019 collection, Step Back in Time, the definitive collection. Musically, Time Bomb is a dance pop song. Sonically compared to the work of American singer Britney Spears and British singer Jay Sean, the lyrical content focuses, and I'm talking about it was compared to their work uh, way back in, two, in 2012. And that was Britney Spears' Till the World Ends and Jay Sean's It Ain't the End. Just to keep you up to date with, with what it was compared to. Now Time Bomb was universally praised from music critics and People said it was her best work at the time. Commercially, it performed moderately in regions such as Australia, and United Kingdom, Spain, Japan, New Zealand. But it managed to reach the top spot in the US Billboard Dance Club Songs chart. That's because they had great taste. An accompanying music video was directed by Christian Larson in Soho, London, which you are about to see. It features Kylie Minogue walking around the streets during the day and night and other scenes of her dancing in a small room. The video was also praised from music critics who complimented Minogue's sex appeal and the video's visuals. 
and I tell you this now, the amount of people that wanted that Kylie Minogue with the heart leather jacket that you will see in the video that became so symbolic with this song was unparalleled, unparalleled for the amount of inquiries and people searching for it, both male and female alike. Now, Minogue performed the track during the semi-final of The Voice UK's first season and appeared on the set list for Minogue's Kiss Me Once concert tour. What is the meaning of Time Bomb? Well, as you'll see, it's an upbeat and energetic song which conveys a sense of urgency and living in the present moment. The lyrics suggest a desire to make the most of time and to seize the opportunity to dance and enjoy joy life to the fullest which is exactly why everybody i've brought her back onto my channel because it's been a time bomb with awards grammys brits everything else that she is really really having karma come back to give her a zest of life she hasn't experienced i would say since the early days because she came from the number one hit tv Australian show that was so popular in, in England called Neighbours to go and enjoy her life to the fullest singing and then the rest has been history. She's amazing. She is Kylie Minogue. At the moment she's enjoying a time bomb. So let's go back to that album to track 49 and enjoy the song critics and fans alike said turned it around again to make Kylie Minogue our princess of pop.
when you're on a time bomb Kylie Minogue with all them songs that have just appeared tension badam badam with her latest album tension I have to say Kylie I adore you I love you for everything that you've given the pop music and it's proven to many many people if you want to survive in the music industry you've got to work your ass off just like Kylie has and some ass she has we all agree and I say that in a platonic way because I'm a gay person but even as a gay man I think mm, what a beauty but go back to Kylie go back to her effortless ways of I'm gonna do this I'm gonna be successful and even now she's probably I would spit, honestly I can see her being awarded and the greatest honor of all a place in the Kennedy Center and I will push for that it took Kate Bush years and years to be recently endorsed in the Kennedy Center as an artist of profound worth towards the music industry and I honestly think Kylie Minogue deserves her time and her place there that would be the for me the icing of the cake and justifiably it would just seal her career that whatever she does from then on is just because of her love for music now let's get into the lyrics very quickly the short and sweet fast time is ticking now so fast the sand is running she says quick run through our hands beat feel the rhythm in my heartbeat why don't you move your body to my body before we disappear lots of people would take you up on that offer Kylie chorus tell me now Ooh, do you want to Ooh, I want to dance like it was the last dance of my life and at the moment that's what she's doing I want to woo I which you're doing as well one two one two one two and you are you are you are do you want to we do want to dance always I'm adding my own words into this by the way like it like it was the last dance I certainly will Kylie especially with your music so those lyrics highlight that fleeting nature of time emphasizing for me the urgency to act before time runs out it's like me doing this channel I started it when I was 50 people said if you know you'll never make it but I've got increased comments I've got over 1.1 million likes and equally as many views and it's staggering to me on such a small number of subscribers increasing thank you when you do subscribe by the way hint hint um, that the passing of time for me has just been a bit like Kylie work your arse off believe in yourself and you'll get there and I believe I'm doing that too so that invitation in the lyrics to move and dance together suggests a desire for connection and shared experiences before they disappear again Kylie does it in the music I'm doing it to reacting to her music and other artists as well now when it comes to the chorus the chorus said as it says tell me now do you want to like it was the last dance of my life I want to want to want to as I've just mentioned and those words reinforce this theme by emphasizing that desire to dance as if it was the last dance of one's life it also signifies in my viewpoint the importance of fully embracing the present moment as I'm doing and cherishing every moment as I certainly am reacting to this song verse 2 goes on wait no please don't make me wait when walls are shaking ground feels like it might break it's not the end of the world it's just the start of me and you yes yeah, so let's just take the moment boy let's move and the chorus that I've just explained tell me now would you want to I want to dance like it was the last dance I want to etc etc and then it says we're on a time bomb it might not last so long so let's just do it right now do it come on we're on a time bomb before the night's gone let's just do it right now she keeps singing and the bridge wait please don't make me wait wait please don't make me wait and then she repeats the chorus again we're on a time bomb it's not uh, that long so let's just do it right now and what does all that mean 
Well, the line, we're on a time bomb, it might not last long, implies to me a sense of uncertainty and the need to act quickly on things. When they're good, they're good, because we all know when they're bad, all together now, they're bad. It serves as that reminder that time can be unpredictable and that one should make the most of every single moment in your life. I often say to people, if you need a reality check about living your life, go to a hospital ward where particularly children are, sick children, and you will get the biggest reality wake up call in your life ever to realize that we are on this earth for a reason, we're breathing for a reason, we have a future, we've just got to make the most of everything that comes our way and turn those negatives into positives. That's what we have to do. Overall, Time Bomb is about that. It encourages you to live in the present, embrace spontaneity, seize opportunities to the fullest before that time runs out. And lastly, serving as a reminder to make the most of every moment and appreciating the fleeting nature of time itself. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.